everybody. All right, so um, it's been a very nice day and I've even had a chance this afternoon or slash this evening to work on my painting a little bit. So I'm really thrilled about that. So far, I've got two mantas down. Um, since my last update, I've also laid down a lot of that coral and stuff. I've added in a couple more little pieces. Um, I've also got a new setup for my GoPro that um, I'm able to use. So I'm pretty happy with that. I can, you know, he's sitting on the tripod and I can get some really nice shots up close of doing the, doing the work that I'm doing. So hopefully, um, look, I haven't even looked at the footage yet to see if it's working out. So I guess you'll see it when I edit this. But yeah, this is where I'm up to now. I've done my two background fellas and I'm about to stop and have some dinner and then I'll do one of the other three. This is probably going to be the end of my efforts for this week. Um, I mean, hopefully I can get back and do a little bit more through the week, but it's pretty busy when I'm at school, so we'll, fingers crossed, see how I go. But yeah, I'm pretty happy this week. Um, one of the things that I just want to walk you through if you're doing something like this. Okay, so the trick I had to get with this is your manta rays are very black and white, but you want to try and capture the reflections off the surface and the reflections on the bottom so you'll see on this one a lot of the colors are not black and white I'm trying to get that real toned down reflection of the sand thing happening um, and then the manta ray over here you can definitely see that little bit and then this fella has some different colored reflections I've put a little bit of pink in him as well just because he's closer to the surface I wanted to give him that the aspect. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with this so far.